Bagger here, and good morning. It is day 15. Can you believe that? Day 15 of the Carpet Bagger Choose My Adventure road trip. And you guys sent me to Roswell, New Mexico. I did not make it all the way to Roswell yesterday. I ended up spending the night here in Odessa, Texas, home of the former world's largest jackrabbit. The statue here was the world's largest jackrabbit up till 2017 with another town in Texas built a taller wooden version of the jackrabbit. Talks about the jackrabbit on this plaque. Uh, apparently the, the reason for the jackrabbit is in 1932 they started having a annual uh, jackrabbit rodeo which continued until 1978 when the Humane Society obtained a court order outlawing jackrabbit rodeos. The sign here talks about the history of the jackrabbit. So this is the subject of tall tales. Actual hero of the world's only jackrabbit rodeo. However, if we go around to the back of this sign, they have a recipe for uh, rabbit and dumplings. First catch your rabbit, dress your rabbit, salt and soak in brine, then boil till tender. Add pepper to taste, fill pot with dumplings, cook till dough is done. What did they, what is Bugs Bunny, uh, the cartoons that always called uh, cooked rabbit, Hassenpfeffer? Is that a real thing? I always wondered if that was an actual, what, what rabbit was called, or if that was just something they made up for the cartoon. So as I said, day 15 of the Carver Bagger Choose My Adventure Road Trip, and we're not done yet. But um, I do have to be back home in North Carolina on the 27th to get all four wisdom teeth removed. So a very exciting uh, thing to go home to. But uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, yesterday I put out a poll uh, whether you guys wanted me to go to Albuquerque, New Mexico or Tucson, Arizona. At the end of this video, tonight, I will check the poll and I will give you the results in this video. So stay tuned to the end of the video. I will not only give you the results of that poll, but I will put up the final poll that will give, and you guys can choose the final destination for the Carpet Bagger Choose My Adventure Road Trip. Um, so you can wait to the end of the video. I'll give you the names and you can go over and vote. Um, this is not the end of the road trip. The, this final vote will not mark the end of the road trip because I still got to get back north. So after that, I will take the steering wheel back myself and I will film as I drive back across these great United States back to North Carolina where a dentist is going to drill my teeth into pieces and yank them from my skull. But first, we gotta get to Roswell. So please, follow me. Here is the hockey arena in Odessa. And look at this. The Odessa hockey team is called the Jackalopes. I love that mascot there. I don't know anything about hockey. I don't know anything about sports. But I would definitely wear a Odessa Jackalopes shirt. Oh, look at that cool little guy. Also, they play hockey in Texas, apparently. now entered the land of enchantment. And we have arrived. Welcome to Roswell. And check out how we are greeted here in Roswell. We have this wonderful scene here. We have uh, aliens landing in a UFO, we have uh, 
aliens here. Unfortunately, it looks like baby alien, alien here had his head uh, stolen by stupid hooligans. He's got an E.T. doll. And uh, the larger alien here is terrified that this woman is uh, giving him a pie. Let's see the pie woman there. Unfortunately, it looks like people have desecrated these uh, a bit. Wrote some graffiti on them. And this guy here, he's got his rifle to fight the aliens off. A little girl with uh, a Raggedy Ann doll. And uh, this alien here is helpful. He's helping this guy, uh, or actually, who's helping who? We got a guy with a truck. We got jumper cables. So is the alien trying to get a jump for his UFO? Or is this guy trying to get a jump from the UFO? Hey, uh, Mr. Gas Station Alien, could you please maybe um, show me where I could find your leader? There's another unrelated gas station alien. And there's an alien after my own heart. I admit I'm pretty excited to be back here in Roswell. Here we are at the visitor center. And here we have a gray alien to greet us. Oh, looks like the aliens are getting ready for Valentine's Day. Actually, we'll take your picture here for free. And uh, here it is printing out. Oh, here it comes. Oh. Here we go. So some of you may be asking, wait a minute, what's with all the aliens? So, in 1947, there was a mysterious craft that crashed here in Roswell, New Mexico. And it was, it was taken by the US government. Um, earlier reports from the scene said that there were small men in a saucer-shaped flying disc and uh, later, the next day, they said, no, 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 never mind that. It's a weather balloon. And uh, mystery still persists to this day on uh, what exactly it was that crashed here in Roswell. I remember uh, my dad telling me about it when I was a kid, and that was like the first time that like, I really grasped that, wow, aliens, that, that could be something real that exists in this world. So, very fascinating. And I love this town, they really embrace the alien, they really, uh, the alien is the blood of Roswell, New Mexico. We have a barber shop. You can see the aliens getting their hair cut or getting their little purple beard trimmed. The Bank of the Southwest, you see a alien emptying out this ATM machine. It should also be noted that all these street lights in Roswell have alien eyes added. Apparently a Santa hat uh, in the winter. This was one of my absolute favorite stops last time I was here in Roswell, the alien zone. I have a little children's play area here, but check out. In the children's play area we also have a Alien dissection. Over here we have some alien tableaus. We've got an alien typing away on a typewriter. Uh-oh, don't know what this alien is doing with this big tub of toxic waste. Oh, I wonder who this guy is. Looks like actually he is the janitor. I do have an alien-themed diner here in the back, but it does not look like it is currently in operation. Oh, look up there. We got some aliens looking down on us. Oh, what is this? Giant lizardy creature right here. Oh, 
All right, and here is the main attraction, the Area 51. So we head back there. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that, that glowing monstrosity. Oh, jeez. Freak me out. Oh, terrifying noises. Oh, it actually got me. Oh, and here we are. Some amazing alien uh, photo ops back here. Oh, back here we have, oh, it looks like this alien's head has come off and turned into some sort of alien spider head monster. Oh, who's this over here? A little, a little, a little slug monster. What's back in here? Why is this, why is this alien in jail? I have the autopsy lab here. These aliens here preserved in tubes. And this guy, his tubes have been cracked open. Biological analysis here. <laughs> it's, a, it's an outhouse. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of kind of hard to concentrate when when you got uh, someone else next to you. It doesn't even really matter if it was an alien, if it was just a person. This would still be really uncomfortable. This is nourishment analysis. I guess these are all uh, different tests being done on the aliens. All right, got a alien cook out there. You all right there, buddy? We got a lighter, lighter fluid there. Cook some uh, space burgers. So we got a can of Duff beer right there. Here we have relaxation analysis. The alien uh, drinking a cold one here. This guy's just chilling out in his boxers. Uh, phone home here. Phone home. You get it? You get it? Phone home. Phone home. Hello, home. We have time lapse analysis. Although I'm not sure why time lapse is a uh, upside down kitchen. And fitness analysis here. Alcoholic analysis. Got a little alien bar there. A little alien bartender. Cheers to the universe. Explosives analysis. Oh, it looks like they maybe exploded this poor guy's head off. Oh, watch out! A toxic waste zombie. Through this tunnel here. There's a crashed UFO up there next to some space vultures. You can see the aliens being experimented on back here. Got this guy locked up in a prison cell. Oh, what's this? Got this, uh, it's like a insect spider alien oh yeah and here there's a bunch of giant insects and it looks like oh they've devoured they've devoured an astronaut you can see a suit there with his bones oh and there's another alien trying to phone home you get it phone home like et i guess this is where i lay to be experimented on by aliens oh Got this big laser pointed at my groin. Oh, we've located area 51 and there's a alien on a sweet motorcycle. All right, let's get out of here. 
All right, buddy, we got to get out of here. We got to blow this popsicle stand. It's pressure analysis. I don't know what's happening to this poor guy. In here we have a Roswell cowboy, which is apparently an alien riding a Roadrunner. Here's the Roswell spacewalk. I visited here last time I was in Roswell, but I've heard that they have uh, added quite a bit. Oh, you can see the little green man there pointing to the sky. Roswell UFO spacewalk, a black light adventure. Looks like we enter the spacewalk through here and look at that. At the space robot. Oh, and this, this alien here. He looks important. Looks like it's time to get beamed up into space. Oh, here we are. Look at that, we got the space alien there. All the bright colors. Oh, we can actually look out in to space. You can see the little UFO flying right there. Oh, it's so cool. He said proceed to probing station? Oh no. Oh no, who's gonna, who's gonna be probing me? He said, do not touch the props, stay on the footprints. What footprints? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yes, the footprints are probably in here. Oh, there we go. And here we are, headed into space. Oh. Oh, you can see some rocket flying there. Oh, it's just like being in regular space. There's a little space van flying through here. Uh, yeah, stay on the footprints though. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, what is that? This giant eyeball there. Weird. It says, beware humanoids, beware. Yeah, we're some, some sort of space jungle. Oh, space owls. Oh, an evil space daisy. What is, what is that? It's like a space Sasquatch with a horn on its head. What am I even looking at? That is terrifying. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, what do you say, something about our doom? Oh. Okay, continue to our doom. Oh! <laughs> Turned into a giant eyeball. <laughs> That's spooky. This guy here. Carrying a skull. Oh, who are you? Oh. Oh. Look at this evil alien bug monster. Oh. This guy has been trapped by space spiders. This is insane. Oh no. Space skeletons. Oh. There is the spade, the spider. <laughs> wow. And inside the spacewalk, we have a miniature space. Toy Museum. 
see the astronauts and ray guns there. Various evil space robots. Okay, that was pretty amazing. Yeah, if you go back to my my uh, older video on the spacewalk, it was completely different. Um, this was way, way better. It was so cool. It's almost like a, a brightly colored black light haunted house where you go through space into an alien forest. It's really cool. Really, really amazing. I would definitely recommend. Do not forget to stop at the spacewalk when you're here in Roswell. Oh, I like this guy here. He almost looks like a tiki style alien. And of course, what would a trip to Roswell be without a stop into the International UFO Museum? You can see the human hand coming up and touching the alien hand there. As we enter the UFO Museum, you can see the flashing lights, the flying saucer above us. See the crash UFO there. The poor alien stranded here in the desert. Here we have a model of the Roswell crash. You can see how the UFO skidded through the desert. Oh, look at that. Got the uh, spaceship there ready to take off. You can see the grays. Here's an artificial flight dummy attached to this parachute here. Now, a lot of people say that uh, I guess these test dummies are responsible for the people that claim to have seen little men, but uh, according to this, I guess these were used in Project Mogul. It says that they've not been able to connect a Mogul balloon to the 1947 crash site. For some reason, they have a horse here that is covered in newspaper articles related to the Roswell incident. Have a science fiction section here. Various uh, science fiction films inspired by supernatural occurrences. I remember this film when it was originally came out. This commercial would scare me so much. I was terrified of being abducted by aliens when I was a kid. So the day the earth stood still, and then we have Klaatu and Gort, the giant robot that uh, implored humans to be peaceful. So we have a lab here where aliens are being experimented on. See that poor little guy right there? And here is an alien autopsy scene. Let's see uh, these individuals getting ready to uh, perform an autopsy on this deceased alien. Does anyone else remember when the alien autopsy came out and played on TV and everyone was talking about it? I was, I, I didn't even know what to think. That was, it was the craziest thing I ever seen and I believed it 100%. I don't know what this guy here is doing. He's bringing a bunch of strange metal objects into the operating room. They're talking. Here we have a Mayan carving. It is called the Palenque Astronaut. It is from 400 to 600 AD. And they're saying here that uh, even though it is so old, 400 to 600 years old, that it actually portrays an astronaut here in flight. 
It says that this is the astronaut here in the spaceship. So you can see the astronaut was saying that these figures here represent extraterrestrial aliens. And check out this. That does indeed look like aliens. Or at least these look like aliens. And it looks like they're operating on a human there. Talking about ancient aliens here, showing some of these cave paintings that resemble aliens. These are different types of reported alien beings. Let's see a wide variety. Some just look like just look like people, like that one. Or that one. And some of them have that gray alien look to them. Oh, that is that is the Hopkinville goblins right there. I can recognize them anywhere. That might be the chupacabra. Here we have the different kinds of encounters. Of course, spotting a UFO is a encounter of the first kind. You're just spotting an alien. I guess that's at Chicago O'Hare Airport. And we have close encounters of the second kind. That's when you interact with aliens, when they communicate with crop circles. See all the different crop circles there, along with the dreaded cattle mutilations. And then close encounters of the third kind, and that's what a direct contact with an alien. This is one, oh, this is one of my favorite uh, UFO stories, the Aurora UFO crash. Um, I actually did a video there. There was a, allegedly a, a, a space alien buried in a human cemetery, and the, the story is absolutely amazing. And uh, I don't think it's been debunked. There's still uh, a lot of uh, strangeness around it. And of course we have the Flatwoods Monster. Oh, I love the Flatwoods Monster. One of the, the creepiest looking visitors there spotted in the woods in West Virginia, not too far from Mothman. And then here we talk about the Kelly Hopkinsville encounter, the Hopkinsville goblins. These little creatures here attacked a uh, farmhouse in Kentucky and the family went to all out war and fought them off using shotguns. And we have close encounters of the fourth kind, and that's actually when an alien abducts a human being. Of course, one of the most famous UFO abduction incidents was uh, Betty and Barney Hill. This couple here who was regarded as very credible. Let's see some paintings here of uh, human alien encounters. Here is the Reed family UFO incident where a Massachusetts family was menaced by space aliens. There is, uh, I guess, the spacecraft, and uh, the alien there is particularly creepy. It's almost like an insect-like creature. Look at his face. This diorama is called, wow, what's this? We see a group of American troops uh, stopping a Nazi UFO. Here is a Nazi Foo Fighter. Let's see uh, the Nazis, they're building their own UFO. I guess the thought was that the Nazis may have reverse engineered some of the alien technology to use in uh, World War II. Here we have some famous uh, pop culture aliens. Some various alien souvenirs there. You have the gourd alien. Some spaceships and a gray ET, as well as some uh, some uh, alien trolls. It does look like they are going through some uh, renovations right now. Just probe it, been there, probed that, got probed in Roswell. It's probing time, oh, they're really leaning heavily into the probing. The invasion station, see these military soldiers uh, removing 
the alien corpses here from the Roswell crash. Oh, there's Baby Yoda. Where are we headed? If you want to get some authentic space-themed food, you head over here to the Roswell McDonald's where the dining room is shaped like a UFO. I think this alien here wants to give me a high five, maybe? There we go. Oh, look at that no good alien there. He's taking our American flag down the flagpole. He's probably gonna fly his evil alien flag instead. You can see there's a space alien there lurking in the drive-thru. We've entered this section here. Looks more like a traditional McDonald's, but then you have the UFO section in the back. It says, welcome to the Roswell UFO McDonald's. In the UFO here, we've got a uh, playground, which is unfortunately currently closed. We have some uh, McDonald's space characters. There's uh, Grimace in a uh, shake-shaped spacesuit. We have, uh, oh, Ronald up there in his uh, spacesuit as well. And then I do not know what this uh, character is called, but uh, she is in a McFlurry. Then we have uh, Birdie there in her fry rocket. And look at this. They even make their quarter pounders shaped like UFOs. According to the poll, Albuquerque, New Mexico was 65% of the vote, over Tucson, Arizona is 35%, so we are going to be headed to Albuquerque, and I'm going to go ahead and head that direction now, and then tomorrow we will spend the day in Albuquerque. Looks like the snow's finally caught up with me. Looks like I can't uh, escape the aliens here. Climbs Court is his work stopping for since 1934. <laughs> That's right. You've made the right stop for fuel and fudge. <laughs> great destinations deserve a friendly smile and great travel tips from our staff. You'll find everything you need on your journey here at Twine Corner. So hopefully this snow will not follow us to Albuquerque. But uh, so yeah, we'll be uh, rolling into Albuquerque shortly and we will be exploring Albuquerque tomorrow. Um, I did want to give you guys, this is the final vote in the Carpetbagger Choose My Adventure Road Trip. I love this format, it's been so fun, but of course because of things beyond my control, my teeth mainly, these four horrific wisdom teeth that need to be extracted from my skull, I need to retake the steering wheel and I will be uh, filming all my way back home and, 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 and keeping you guys with me, keeping you guys in the back seat um, on this adventure even as we uh, head back east. But now, I give you the uh, final vote on where you would like to see me go before I turn around and start heading back east. The uh, cities that are up for contention are Moab, Utah, Las Vegas, Nevada, and Phoenix, 
Arizona. So of those three choices, choose wisely on where you would like to see me make a stop. And then after that, we will be headed east back towards the general direction of North Carolina. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Like I said, this has been an absolute uh, hoot. This has been an awesome adventure and it continues to be. We, we're not slowing down, we're just shifting course. And uh, if you guys would like to help contribute to the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month. Also selling enamel pins. All that information is in the description of this video. And all that just helps keep this train on the track, this boat on the water, and this UFO in the air. Until next time, my friends. This one's in the bag. <laughs>